What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to the Irdivisi SBC. Today we're only going to do the Irdivisi SBC and depending on how quickly this video gets likes will depend on how quickly I release the Championship SBC too. Um, if you smash the thumbs up and we get like well in excess of 10k likes quite quickly, I'll upload the Championship one today. If not, I'll do it tomorrow because I've got a lot of foot champs games to play. Now this was remarkably cheap way cheaper than I thought it was gonna be um, I'm gonna show you some of the teams not all of the teams and how cheap I got them for on average I'd say less than 10,000 coins per team I've saved the last team here today because I want to show you how I did these ones but then how you can actually do it even cheaper because I did this uh, for time efficiency not for cost efficiency and I still did it for ridiculously cheap so, for example, we'll start as we mean to go on. Adu Den Haag. Now, I had some of these players in my club already. First owner there, 2,000 for the right back, 1,900 for the centre back, 1,800 for that centre back, and 2.5k for the left back. This was actually one of the more expensive teams. 1,400, first owner, 1,200, 1,200, 1,400, and first owner. That's our first, uh, our first team done. So that was quite an expensive team, probably somewhere around like the 15,000 coin mark. But as we went on, and I'm not going to look at Ajax prices because Ajax is mostly a gold team. So it's traditionally cheaper to have a gold team anyway. So there you, there you see, uh, it's all gold. So we're going to send that team in. And we're going to have a look at, for example, this AZ team. So this team here, a couple of golds, a couple of first owners again. But then 950 for this goalkeeper, 700 for this goalkeeper, who I've got there because uh, you don't need the extra chemistry. A first owner centre back, 1,000 coins for Ron Vlaar, 1,200 for the left back. 1,100, 1,600, 1,400, first owner, 1,300 and 1,600. So again, very, very close to 10,000 or so. A lot of you guys will have a lot of these players in your clubs already if you've been smart. But I, as I say, I built these for um, time efficiency, not cost efficiency. Uh, let me just send in a couple more squads and we'll, we'll take a look at uh, another one of the squads here or there. Um, and then, as I say, the last one, I'm going to show you exactly how I bought these because it wasn't efficient for cost, even though it's still cheaper than what a lot of people will pay. Um, but also it was, let's look at Groningen here. So we've got a gold goalkeeper, first owner, 2,000 for the right back, first owner, first owner, 1,700 for the left back. 900, 1600, 1500, 1000 first owner and 1500. So less than 10,000 coins for that as well. I know a few of them are first owner, um, but I could have bought them for cheaper again. Uh, Hero and Veen, another one that was uh, mad cheap. Let's take a look at some of these players again. 1100 for the goalkeeper, first owner, 1800, 1700, 1200, first owner, 900, 750. 900 again, and then a first owner goalkeeper up in that left wing spot, because again, you don't always need things for chemistry. Um, I'm going to turn all of these in real quick, dudes. As I say, like the reason why I'm, one of the main reasons why I'm actually doing this one at a time is because I want to spend some time showing you specifically how I did this, but more importantly, how you can actually do it for super, super cheap. So we get a Hunter Chemstar there. I should have sold that actually. That's 5k um, immediately back. I would say overall, and we'll take a look at these guys as well. 700 here, 800 for this guy, 950, 1100, 850, 850, 1000, 800, 900, 700, and 900. So maybe even like 8,000 coins for for this one to be completed. And that isn't even the most efficient way to do it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just turn in all the other um, all the other items now and we'll go to that last squad and, and I'll show you exactly what I did to start with. Uh, knowing my luck, I'm gonna end up having the whole squad already. I don't want the whole squad. Because what you'll notice with a lot of these is not only do I have the team rating easy, like I don't know if you can see from my face camera right now, but the over t overall team rating expected is 66 and I have a si I didn't buy these players we're gonna go and do Rhoda as well in a second so for some reason I swear I bought the Rhoda players um, but yeah for this one again it's a 65 minimum rating we've got 67 you only need 95 chemistry we've got 100 so there's some opportunity there for us to actually um, re reduce the value of some of those players. Like one of the players, for example, here, I've got 69 team instead of a 68 and 100 chemistry. So if I go and find, for example, the most expensive player, we've got 1,000, 1,000. Anyone here worth more than 1,000 or did I get them all for 1,000 or less? So I've got them all for 1,000 or less. However, this right back that I bought for 1,000, if I actually then go and put, uh, what club is this? FC 20. <laughs> if I actually go and put a goalkeeper in at this right back spot, um, where's FC Twenty? Hello? Did I go past it? There we go. And go to concept players. 
and go to uh, goalkeepers. So I spent a thousand coins on that um, right back by getting this goalkeeper, even though he's 64 rated and I could probably pick him up. There you go, for 250 coins, he still fits the whole team. So now I can go and sell this right back back on. Uh, so there's definitely like, there, it, it's so easy to do this for so cheap because one of the biggest issues is people have set, spent so long saving these cards for this SBC that now it's here, it's getting dumped on the market massively, causing a big downturn in price. So this is like one of the best times to be able to do this SBC for crazy cheap. Like I say, I, I've spent easily around 100,000 coins or less in total, maybe 110, 120. We're going to get some coins back. We've already got some coins back. We're going to get like 25k coins back for completing it. And we've got all these packs as well that we're going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well, guys, is we're going to go and do... Um, let's turn this one in. I'm going to go and build uh, Villem 2 and I'm going to go and finish the other one off. And then I'll be right back and I'll show you the best way to do this efficiently. So I will be right back. All right, guys, I actually bought and turned in the Villem 2 team without even paying attention. I, I turned it in without even like forgetting that I was making a video. So we're going to use this Rhoda JC team as the last team to show you how I did it efficiently. So what I first, or, or how, how I did it, and then how you could do it even more efficiently. What I first did is literally just build the team with their actual positions. We've got a 68 rated team where it should be 66. We've got 100 chemistry where we only need 95. Now the way I was looking for players is I was searching for a player, and if ever I saw the player a thousand coins or less, I just bought it. Because I thought a thousand coins per player, you know, you're looking at 10, 11,000 coins per team, I'm okay with that. I think that's a reasonable value. And you can see how many pages of players are on the market right now because everybody saved these cards waiting for the SBC and all dumped them together. So I would have bought this card, right? This card is a card that I would have picked up for a thousand coins. The reason why this was time efficient and not cost efficient is because there is probably a card out there for eight, seven, or even 600 coins. And if we skip down towards the back end of the, the um, players here towards the 59th minute, I would be very surprised if we didn't see one. There's one at 950, another one at 950. I might be able to even get one here for 700. Nope, so 950 is actually probably about the cheapest that we could have picked this up for. Um, obviously, I didn't look at every single player price and I could potentially have gone and sniped one, but that's how I bought all the players. So we'll go ahead and we'll buy all the players. We'll take a look at what I spent for all the players. So again, all I did was go across... Look, look, sometimes I'd skip a few pages and wait because like it's cheap, like the nearer that you get to the end of the cycle, the, the cheaper ones get bought up quicker. But we're, we're looking at some here for t like 1200. So I'm pretty certain I'll be able to get one again here for a thousand coins or less. And if I couldn't get one for a thousand coins or less, I just bought the cheapest alternative. So I saw some 1200 coin ones there. So I'll just buy a 1200 coin one. 1200 coins is still good, especially for important positions. Center backs, right backs and, and wingers seem to be remarkably overvalued compared to other other cards. So this, this guy here as well, we switch in. Uh, let me skip through a few pages. I've already seen a couple there for 1400. Uh, so again, we should be in a good situation where a thousand coins or less is gonna be a bit of a banker. There was an 1100 coin uh, card. There's one for 950. So we're going to pick him up, 950. That one's actually expired. That's too bad. Is there going to be another one? There's a 1,000 coins there as well. That one's also expired. Looks like we might be going for a 2,000, uh, sorry, a 1,200 coin card. Let's pick up the 1,200 coin card again. But this isn't even going to be that relevant because I'm going to show you, that, as I say, this is how I've done every team because I obviously wanted to hurry the video. I wanted to get this out for you. But I want to show you, even though that I did this for cheap and after we opened the packs, I'm pretty certain we're going to be close to make, like completing this SBC for nothing. We'll be close to it. We might not be bang on. It might have cost us twenty or 30,000 coins, but we'll be close. So we see one there for 950, so I'd buy this guy. Uh, now, what would be more efficient is actually trying to find him for less than 950. You know, actually going out and looking at exactly how much this guy costs, what his cheapest bin is, and just picking up his cheapest bin. We go for this guy again. There's another 1,000, another one. We saw one 900 there, 850 this guy is going for. 700 coins right here for this CDM, a shiny silver CDM. He's already been picked up. So we'll go for that 850 one that we saw going back. Not that one. Hopefully this one hasn't been bought. It hasn't. 850 coins, absolute bargain. This guy here, how much is he going to be coming in for? And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to reduce the price dramatically once we've finished buying all the players and show you exactly how to get the most benefit out of what we're doing here. So this guy here looks like he's going to be about 16. There's one 1400. That's, that's the most expensive player so far. 
that we picked up. I think we've got a 1200 now and a 1400. So the next player we've got another CDM. The other CDM was like 850, so I assume this one will be around the same because typically the player positions and the prices for each player stay about the same. So there's one 900 with still 15 minutes left. There's another one for 900 there, an 850 there. We're going to get one for maybe 700, 650. Anyone listed up, one up super cheap? No. So we'll be able to get him for 850 again though, dudes. Again, super, super cheap. Um, let's go. So we'll take him and do that. Right, so that's another player. So we've got two more players to pick up now. The right mid. Now, I, th I think there's a lot of right mids in this team. So uh, it's actually going to be quite cheap to get this guy. It should, again, potentially be a 1,000 coins or less. Also, the desire to have the player that you get for completing this set isn't great, right? The player's good. Uh, I haven't looked at his in-games yet. I'll be interested to see what his in-games are. Um, but it's not. there doesn't seem to be much desire for this guy, which is why there's so many players on the market and people aren't picking him up now. I saw this guy for 900 coins. That's brilliant. Okay, so he's actually gone. Was there another one for 900 coins? No, we'll, we'll take 1,000 coins. I'm, I'm actually, even now, building this team. I'm, I'm very happy with 1,000 coins or less. And then last but not least... We're going to go and get this guy. Now, the fact that the, the 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 starting player there wasn't even picked up means that this guy is super, super cheap. We'll be able to get him, hopefully, for 700 or less. I've seen a few 850s there. If I do see a 700 coin player, I'll pick him up. If not, we'll go back and grab one of those 800s. We're going to get a 700, a 750? No. So I'll go back and get that 800 coin uh, version of him, uh, as long as it hasn't been picked up already. If not, we'll go and get the 850s, because there's plenty of this guy that are super cheap. So there you go. This is the team complete. Now, as I say, we've got a scope of two rating and five chemistry available to us. So if we go and find the most expensive players, uh, 1,200 for the two centre backs, 1,000 for the right mids, 1,400 for the cam. So the cam is an expensive player. So what we're going to do instead of this cam is we're going to go and get the lowest rated player from Willem 2 and we're going to put him in there. Uh, hopefully it's like a, a set. Oh, let's let's have a look at this guy. Uh, we'll also have a look at his goalkeeper. So if this guy's 200 coins, that would be fantastic. Doesn't look like he's going to be. 600 though, already looking at way cheaper. 350, another 350 in there. I actually reckon we could get this guy for 200. There is pages upon pages upon pages of this guy. We just have to wait until we can find the one at 200 or 250 to be able to pick up. Let me skip through a, another few pages. But even if we get him for 350, we've shaved another 1,000 coins off. There we go, 200 coins for him. So we pick this guy up for 200 coins. He's going to go in, and that's going to put us up to 67 rated, and we've still got 100 chemistry. So we can take out one of the centre backs, and we can now put in the goalkeeper. And that's still 100 chemistry. And this goalkeeper should also be 200 coins. So we've, we've shaved off another amount of coins. And now if we can get rid of... Um, let's again look at the low to high. Now, we've actually got a centre-back here. I don't know whether he's going to be high enough rating. And I don't know if another goalkeeper is going to work. Is this centre-back going to be high enough rating? Yes. These aren't Rhoda players. These are Willem 2 players. God damn it. Who... Why didn't you guys warn me? Come on, bros. You could have warned me. Um, I've been going for Willem 2 players. This... Uh, you guys are probably sitting there tearing your hair out. I've done this mistake. I've made this mistake so many times. Let me put these dudes back in. Because we are going to now have to go and get the Rhoda JC players. The principle of what I've just done, though, is still exactly the same. Going and buying players um, from the. Let me just quick sell these dudes. I don't. I don't. I don't want them. They've. They've tainted. They've tainted my. Uh, they've tainted my team. So, <laughs> right. Let's go to Rhoda, and we'll get the Rhoda JC players. Let's go to the concept players, low to high. Um, so we'll take this dude here and we'll look at him. Now, hopefully this guy is going to be 200 coins too. He absolutely is going to be 200 coins. There's no bid on him there for 150 on open bid. There's nothing there for 1,000. 700, no one's buying him. Let's see if we can get him for even, I don't know, 400 coins, 650, 500. So we pick this guy up for 500 and we will throw him in at that camp spot. So once again, we go down to a 67, but we've still got 100 chemistry. Uh, if we then look at some some of the lower rated dudes again, so this guy here, he's going to keep our rating fine as well. We're still 67 rated, we're still 100 chemistry, and he's going to be 200 coins because there's a CDM uh, that's bronze and uh, super low rated. I can't imagine he's going to be much more. So we've shaved off some, some more coins here. And this is how you can be efficient with this 
if you've got the time and if you don't have the coins. You can easily get these dudes for way cheaper. So this guy actually looks like he's about 500. So you know what? I don't even want to use him at 500. I want to go and get a guy that's actually going to be 200 coins. Typically, the goalkeepers um, are the dudes. Now, this is a silver goalkeeper, so he might not be so cheap. Um, this team doesn't actually seem to have too many bronzes either, which, uh, which does suck. Let's see. So... 850 so th this other dude at 500 is still the the most most efficient way to purchase so far uh yeah it doesn't look like we're gonna get for 500 there let's have a look at other uh, another couple of the low rated dudes um so this guy and this guy let's see if we can pick up one of these strikers for a nice small amount again looking at like 200 to 300 coins would be absolutely perfect absolutely ideal um it takes a while to sort through them sometimes but uh all right, so we're looking at like maybe 500 for these guys. So, um, bottom line is, we can take those out, and if we put this goalkeeper, no, not, yeah, no, this goalkeeper is fine. If we put a striker in, how much does that work? Yeah, this works out as well. Let me let me check this striker. So he's shiny, so he's actually gonna be worth a little bit more probably, but seeing that one there at 800, so he's 700. I think this guy was cheaper. I think this guy was 500. Oh yeah, there's 1850 that hasn't uh, hasn't been bought yet. Let's skip up on to like the 45th, 50th minute and see if we can get one for 500 here. Was there one for 500? There you go. So we pick him up for 550. Perfect. The rating's still there at 66. The chemistry is down at 96 now, but it's still way, way cheaper than what we were doing before. So we've removed the three most expensive players in the team and we're going to replace it with three very cheap counterparts that, although they don't give the chem boost that we, you know, that we desire, um, well, they do. They kind of do give the chem boost because we only need 95. Although they don't give the team 100 chemistry, uh, what we've done there is we've we've gone from the three players that we had, which were going to cost us, or well, I bought them, but let's assume I didn't buy them and bought these other three instead. So the three players we had, the 1,200. Um, 1200 and 1400 so 3800 coins for those three and instead it's going to cost us 550 1150 and then 1650 so we've saved almost 2000 coins off of this one by picking up these these three bronzes instead and you can do this all over the field for example if there's a left back that's like 4k or 5k or something don't buy that left back for 4 or 5k. Go and buy a bronze striker and put him in there anyway. Because you're going to be able to get the rating and you're going to be able to get the, the chemistry with just a few players outside of where you're actually looking. So with that in mind, guys, that's the Eredivisie completed. We get 22.5k coins and the UNES card back for doing so. Um, it hasn't cost me much already. I, I do believe, like I say, 4-star, 4-star. Four four now, his dribbling is really nice. His stamina is great. His passing curve and vision is great as well. His pace is obviously exceptional. The worry of him is his shooting isn't spectacular and his composure also isn't great. As an impact sub, though, he might be very fine. And this, these stats right here, guys, for me, are why this guy might be also super cheap because he's not a desirable player to have as much as I think these blue cards are nice to have in the club. But in terms of the cost for this, as, as I showed you, I could have shaved a few thousand coins off of each club quite easily if I did it more cost efficient instead of time efficient. Um, I'd say it cost me less than 100,000 coins for all 16 teams to complete them all. M maybe as much as 120,000 coins. So we've got 22k back, so that's 100,000 coins at worst before we open all these packs. So if we make 100,000 coins back off of these packs, we've done this for free. If we make anything under 100,000 coins back off of these packs, we're looking at pulling profit back every single time. And even though these are silver player packs, you, you guys know full well the silver players are always worth uh, quite a lot of coins. Um, so if we actually come away with a, an Eredivisie player straight away, this guy, he's, people are buying him, so there's a 1,000 coins back for him. Um, the championship player there, we're gonna check him. The championship players right now are quite expensive. All of these consumables, they're worth something. We, we easily have six or seven thousand coins back in that pack, in my opinion. This guy, definitely, this guy looks like he's about three thousand coins, two thousand coins. So we easily have uh, six or seven thousand coins back in that pack alone. Uh, we'll move on to the next Jumbo Premium Silver pack. Let's see what we get in this one. See if we can get another Championship player, another Eredivisie player, any of the league SBCs. 
are obviously uh, great. So we get a Liga Nos player, we get a Russian League player and a Turkish League player. All of these dudes will have at least five to 800 coin value. Um, we get more consumables, a couple of fitness cards, some healing cards, which is great, and 500 coins. We've made a worst case 10,000 back off the first two packs. So we're down at about 90,000 coins in total for completing this so far. Let's see if we've got any more silver packs we can open. No more silver packs. A lot of two rare gold player packs in there. You ain't know that we love those as a community. Gold pack number one, guys. Let's see what we get out of this. No shine, no shiny gold player either. But again, if we can get a championship uh, player or, or anything like that here. Uh, so this guy, Ron Vlar. I mean, I bought Ron Vlar. I picked him up for a thousand coins, uh, which means his going rate is about a thousand coins. So I'll list him up for something like that. Maybe we'll get a lazy buyer, maybe we won't. But that's pretty nice. And then consumables again. I don't know how much you want to attribute to the value of each of these, but we'd easily make two, two to three thousand coins back per, per like average gold pack. Obviously, if you get a white flare, it's an inform. Let's go. Who's it going to be? Brazil. Centre back. It's Is it Toloi? Yo, that's sick. Uh, if that was Fernandinho, that would have been so sick. But Toloi's good, guys. It immediately gives us like a 12k buffer back again, uh, which is phenomenal. What is this guy? 19k? Is he 19k? This is someone price fixing him. Yep, look, they're all up for 35 seconds. He's got 15k bid on him. That is fantastic. We pack an inform, guys. So 14.5k back straight off the bat there. And uh, that puts us down to, to needing, like, what did I say? Say we already had 10k back. That's like 25k back. We're only about 75k short now of getting this done for free. Give or take. Uh, depending on how much you want to attribute each uh, consumable item to, uh, we can easily get this done for way, way cheaper. Another, like, I actually want to check this Portuguese Liganos dude because it's very possible he's an expensive player, but it's also very possible he's a... Uh, in. See, we're, like, this is like 800 coins here. There's, there's not many of them on the market. I'm actually going to keep him. Um, but again, just more profit back, guys. It's just constant profit continuously. You know, only 1,000 coins off of that guy, plus the other consumables, maybe two to 3K back off of that pack. Still decent. Two rare players coming out of this pack. That inform was really nice though. Really, uh, really helped matters indeed. We're going to get ourselves Patrice Evra in the next pack. Any championship player would be very, very welcome because, I mean, I'm not going to sell them. Damn, this is a lot. Of, this is this is nice, man. This again, a lot, of, lot of coins here. Obviously, as I say, I'm, I'm going to keep these. Um, I'm going to keep uh, all of this stuff instead of selling it. But if I sold it all, I'm pretty positive I could. I could break even on this SBC. And this is me doing it on the day it's released. This isn't even me waiting. This isn't me waiting until, you know, the hype's gone and the player prices come down. This is me doing it straight away on the day of release and making an absolute killing off of it. Even if this did cost me 30, 40, 50K, for having the SBC guy in the club for 30 to 50K, I am very content with that. I think that's a good deal. Uh, we're going to get three rare golds out of this as well. Can we get something really decent? No, we can't. Um, we get the goal kit. Oh, who was that? That's someone that I think I know who it was. Carnesius, Justine. Uh, no championship players there. Just more, more profit. Like 7k back off of this pack, somewhere around that. You know, with the players, the consumables, the discards. It's all good profit, all money back in the bank. Another jumbo premium gold pack. We've already got one in form. Can we get another flare, a board, a shine? We're going to get one special card in this. When I see that white shine, I always think it's the icon shine. I don't know the difference between the icon and the legend shine, which is quite this. Sorry, the uh, icon and legend. The icon and the. Um, the icon and the. Inform shine is what I'm looking for. Rare consumables pack next. The premium gold players pack will open as well. It's just all profit, isn't it? More profit here. Oh, another free pack. A player pack. That's what's up. Strike sent forward, right wing to right forward is a good uh, consumable as well. Eight, nine hundred coins for that. Um, we've got a couple of two player packs, two rare gold player packs, two player pack. Let's open the two player pack that I just got out of the free pack. This is one gold, one silver minimum. Maybe. Uh, oh, we actually got bored out of it as well. Let's go. This was the free pack. Swiss goalkeeper. It's going to be Berkey. Actually, okay right now because of the SBCs. What, maybe two and a half to three K? Oh my God, and we got a, a... Yo, is he 4K? Yo, three and a half K for Berkey, that's solid as. 
And we get a Eredivisie player as well, Coutinho, the goalkeeper. See, he's not worth much, but I'll actually keep him instead of selling him. But Berkey was a good sale. I'm going to have to quickly go out and uh, clear my trade pile, guys. I listed up all the items I had on the trade pile so that I could get some space for this. So we're going to clear... Did that Berkey sell? I don't even know if Berkey sold. I want to see if he sold yet or not. He did sell. Oh, no, he didn't sell. He's just on the trade pile. Um, but still... Uh, I've got some some money back again, guys. I've definitely I've definitely made I've definitely made good profit off of this. Depending on what we get here, I, I'm close to breaking even. Oh, we get another board, three flares in there as well. That's nice. What's it gonna be? Cameroon CDM. Oh oh well, Adrisa Gay is alright. I thought I was gonna be uh, what's his name for a, for a minute there, uh, Mane. Adrisa Gay is decent though. I don't know how much he goes for anymore. I haven't seen his uh, his value in a while. Pepe Reina, is he at least 2k? Yes. Another bit of coins back. Very nice indeed. Um, nothing there that's too useful. Oh, we get a uh, championship silver. This guy is going to be worth something. Yeah, maybe maybe seven eight hundred coins again. It all just goes in keeping, guys, with the fact that this didn't cost us much to complete. I feel like we we're getting towards the point of this being free. If it's not free, this this whole SBC is definitely going to have cost me less than fifty thousand coins. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't do the math on exactly what I spent, and I didn't do the math on exactly what we packed back. I haven't attributed values to consumables and some of the players I've just stored in the club, etc., etc. Um, but what I do know for sure is that we've made a good amount of coins back off of these players. Another couple of thousand coins for this dude here. We'll pop him in. This guy as well for uh, Liga Nos could be worth a bit as a centre-back. Yeah, 700 coins for him. 800 coins maybe we'll get back for him. Uh, this guy here, Believ. A couple of thousand coins for him there. That was 1,800 on uh, 48 minutes. So we'll get 1,400 for him. And uh, that's all for that. We'll, uh, we'll discard this gold card here. But again, dudes, you know, I feel like a broken record and I'm sure you can get frustrated me saying it, but we are just making good profit back off of every pack here. Coins back constantly. Maybe what I'll do with the uh, championship one is mark down exactly what I spent. Do it the most efficient way possible and mark back down exactly what I got back and see what we got specifically. Um, so here again, have we got anything? So the Pro League, not really interested in that. We'll send all that into the club. We'll send these dudes up to the trade pile. And we've got three more packs to go. So two rare gold player packs, Two two rare gold player packs and a prime gold. A pro, is this a prime elections pack? Premium elections pack. We get two shinies out of it. It looked like that was a common gold though, so it's going to be two shiny silvers by the looks of things. Oh, that was a two player pack. Oh, well, there you go. We've got Camacho and Mendez. I thought that was a prime. Oh, well, there you go. I'm not even reading the pack properly. So two more packs to go, guys. And then that is going to be the end of the video for today. Can we get a board? We can get another board. Let's go. Come on, be someone big. Swiss again. Goalkeeper again. This time it's Sommer, not Berkey. But Sommer, still worth about 15, 1,600 coins right now. We get Christian Teo in there as well, who's not worth too much. That's pretty good, guys. We get an Inform, we get an 84 Berkey and an 83 Sommer. We got a few good silvers that were worth a little bit of coins. And then our last pack, no shine here, unfortunately. But guys, I tell you what, I'm very, very happy I did this. And I'm very, very happy... Oh, we get Douglas Costa. Let's go. We've also got Adrissa Gay as a board card as well. I forgot about him. Yo, is Costa worth? Oh, I mean, he's like maybe three and a half K, but hey, it's still three and a half more K back. That's sick. Guys, that was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Like I said, if you want to see the championship one, drop a thumbs up on this video. I'm not going to lie. It's already 8 p.m. I've only played seven foot champs games today. I've got a lot more to get through. It's highly likely that the championship video won't be up until tomorrow, no matter what. Um, but I do appreciate you throwing a like on the video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the support. If you're enjoying my channel, drop a sub. If you're enjoying the videos, drop a like. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.